Whether you're a meticulous planner or someone who speed writes a first draft, you'll probably need to write out a synopsis at some point to help keep your project organised. Synopses can be entered for any item in your binder. You'll typically enter them for text documents and folders, but it's even possible to provide a synopsis for an image you've imported as research, if you like. Synopses can be added to a document in a number of different places, and adding or editing a synopsis anywhere will update the synopsis in any other places it would be displayed. For example, if you're viewing index cards on the cork board, a large section of each index card is dedicated to displaying the synopsis, and you can edit it by double-clicking on that part of the index card, then typing as much or as little as you need. I'll switch to the outliner, and you'll see the synopsis is displayed below the document title. I can add another synopsis to this next chapter by double-clicking on the document title, then hitting return to start editing the synopsis field, and when we go back to the corkboard, you'll see it's updated here too. The other place you'll find synopses is the inspector. If I open it alongside these first two chapters with the notes tab open, you can see the synopsis displayed in this field up here. I'll add a synopsis for chapter 3, and when I return to viewing my chapters folder in the corkboard or the outliner, the synopsis appears here too. If you don't enter a synopsis for a document, the first few lines of the document text will be displayed on the corkboard index card to give you an idea of the document's context, but these words appear in a lighter grey text, indicating this is a placeholder and not a synopsis you've entered yourself. So, if you prefer to plan your project in advance, you can type up synopses for each document before you start on the main text. Then, as you begin work on your project, you can refer to the synopsis in the inspector to see what you intended to write for this chapter. Alternatively, if you prefer to get some text on the page first, you can add a synopsis later, making note of what the scene is about, and get an overview of the project in the outliner. If a picture is worth a thousand words to you, you can even include an image in the synopsis field. With the inspector open, click this icon in the synopsis header bar to reveal a space to drag and drop an image, either from your project or from a folder elsewhere on your computer. Note that this doesn't clear the synopsis text. You can switch between the written synopsis and the image by clicking on this icon, and you'll see the text has been preserved. The same button will also control whether the image or the written synopsis appears on the corkboard, but even if you leave the image here, you will notice only the synopsis text appears when you switch to the outliner. If you want to remove the image, simply right-click on it and choose Clear Image. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos and guides should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!